guys welcome back to another english class today i'm going to explain you the last form or the past perfect in this case the question form we have for example had you finished your homework before you went to bed and have your friend have your friend rehearsed before he made his performance now in this case we're using the past perfect into question form now as you can see we have the start with the auxiliary in this case have plus your subject plus the verb in past participle don't forget that your complement and then in addition at the end you have to write a past simple or maybe a past continue past continuous sentence okay now if you have a question like this with a start with have you have to answer it obviously with a short answer maybe you can say have you finished your homework before you went to it is it positive yes i have or in a negative way no i hadn't now in the next in the second question we have for example the answer had your friend rehearsed before he made his performance is it positive yes he had or no he hadn't now be careful don't forget to pay attention who is the subject that you are talking about okay now we have in this case the question structure are you with a he sheet you have the auxiliary have for example had subject verb in past participle complement and the past sentence and don't forget to add the question mark it's very important for example had they, had they booked a room before they went to NYC? Past perfect. Have subject they verb in, <coughs> verb in past participle booked and the past sentence they went past simple and the complement. Another example we have in this case. Had your husband made dinner when you got home? We have again, had the auxiliary plus your husband, the subject, and made past participle and the past sentence, you got home. And don't forget to check your short answer. Maybe if you're talking about you, you can say, yes, I had, no, I hadn't. But in the sentence I wrote, had they. So you have to answer, yes, they had or no, they hadn't. And in a second question, we have had your husband, he, yes, he had, or no, he hadn't. Okay, don't forget to check who is the person that you're talking about. Now, we have the first exercise to practice the same part. Now we have five sentences, five questions in this case, in past perfect. Now, you have to remember that with all the questions in past perfect, you have to start with the auxiliary, have, and the verb that you have in red, you have to change them into past participle. For example, the first one can be, had Lisa finished her project when she went out with her friends? Number two, had, past participle of have, have, had you had breakfast, when you start work, number three, had Tom eat past participle, eaten, had Tom eaten anything before he went to bed, he went to the cinema. Number four, had again, he live, lived, had he lived in Los Angeles before he moved to Texas. And the last one, had you read past participle read had you read the contract before you sign it okay now don't forget that it's part of the past perfect it's really simple but pay attention with the verbs because you have to change in into past participle and the last part we have the extra exercise it says exercise on your notebook we have in this case 10 sentences and obviously you have to complete them with the past perfect okay don't forget to check 
the verb that you have in brackets. This verb has to be in past participle. And that's all about the explanation of the past perfect in question. Thank you. Espero que les haya gustado el video. Si es así, por favor, suscríbanse. No olviden dejar algún comentario si quieren más videos como este. Compártalo con, su, con, con sus conocidos y denle un buen me gusta al video. Muchas gracias por su atención. Cuídense. Nos vemos pronto con una nueva lección. Bye bye.